Hi everyone and welcome back to VR Gamer Dude. I'm Don and today it is all about being productive in virtual reality. That's right, I'm taking care of business. So I've been dying to find out is there any way I can replace this and this with just this and this? Let's find out. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at a really cool productivity app that you can grab completely free right now over on App Lab called Fluid. And, you know, I want to thank the developers for reaching out to tell me about this one and also for sponsoring today's video. So what exactly is it? What is Fluid? What does this thing do? Well, basically, it's a VR app for productivity that lets you work in either a mixed or virtual reality environment using your Quest 2 or Quest 3. And, you know, after using it the last couple of nights, I got to say, it's got all sorts of cool features that can actually help you keep on track and be more productive, like the ability to have multiple screens pinned all around you or the fact that it actually works with my portable Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. So I'm actually typing on a real keyboard and it even has a pass through window so you can see that keyboard or your existing desktop setup for people like me who have to look at the keyboard when I type that's in gold. So, you know, it basically lets you customize your own workspace in a virtual or mixed reality. And you know, what I'm finding out about that that's great is, is that it really does help to minimize with all those little distractions that I can have during a work day. So couple all that with the fact that you've got different environments that you can choose from and it really does allow you to work in a space that's more comfortable for you. Now, using Fluid is super easy. All you've got to do is head over to the App Lab page, as you see here on the screen, and download the app. And then once you get that installed, you just put your headset on and you're ready to go. It's that simple. You're basically dropped into a nice, distraction-free environment anywhere you are that has an internet connection, which really makes this ideal for travel purposes or just times that you want to be in a quiet place to get your work done. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into the app now and I'll show you guys around a little bit. All right, here we are in Fluid. And you know, I got to say, I love this default environment that they drop you into. That is so chill with the rainforest and the sun shafts coming over the mountains. And you know, I kind of like the cabin space here. We're kind of up in an attic. We've got a skylight. We've got a painting back there. We're chilling in our bean bag, got our Christmas tree. But we're not here to talk about the environment. We, we're here to talk about the productivity of this app and what it can do for you. So there's a couple of different components components in here. We'll break them down one by one. We'll kind of start with this one right here. This is actually one of my favorite things. This is the pass-through window. And you can see, basically, that's going to give me a, the ability to see my existing desktop in the real world. And, you know, for somebody like me who still has to look at the keyboard when they type, I never really learned how to type by memory this is gold, so, so it literally allows me to use this keyboard and mouse without having to constantly flip the headset up so I can look down the nose piece. So with that, you can use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, as you see here. I, it, it basically gives me a cursor, and that cursor is spatial. I can bring that you know, in, in 3D space, not just on a 2D plane. Um, and then it also gives us the ability to use the controller should we want to. So you've actually got three different input methods here, and you can see they just switch seamlessly between the three as to which ones you want to use. Now, the main brunt of this app is, like I said in the beginning, for pinning web pages and web-based apps all around you, you know, that way you can get a lot of work done on different, you know, different things at different times. So in this, they've got default apps, like you've got your Spotify, you've got your Gmail, Slack, Discord, uh, you've got Game Pass and YouTube. I personally probably use these three the most. So let's go ahead and open those up now. And you can see we can just tap them as buttons here. And then that's going to give us our default web pages. We can then pull them out and then position them in space where we want them. I can also grab the corners here and I can resize those should I want to. 
push them back out if I need to. And, you know, it just really makes it customizable to what you want. And I can pretty much have as many of these as I want surrounding me. Now, to me, that would get a little cluttered. I, I, I do like to kind of just stick with the traditional three monitor setup here. But again, I can make them as big as I want. Um, if you are one of the old school people who used to use the PC app on Oculus, it, it is very familiar that you can just grab that window and you can push the stick forward and backwards and we can really move it out into space there. And then if I want, I can really grab that thing and make it big and grab the bottom there. There we go. And, uh, you know, say I was playing a game or watching a movie, uh, that would just be gold to be able to make that screen as big as I wanted it. So the other things that you can do here, uh, since I've got the controller in my hand, you can press in on the stick and then we can change environments. We can change control methods. Uh, we can enable the pass through if we just wanted to work in our own space uh, and not have to rely on this guy right here. And now you guys can see my dirty, oh, hey, the Christmas tree state. That's cool. Uh, you can see my dirty uh, studio here. I need to clean it. Um, but, you know, like I said, it is customizable. It is really, you know, whatever you want to work in, you're going to be able to work in. So I, I just love the fact that it's got so many different ways to customize. I, we've also got some different environments that we could go into. We've got the apartment. We've got the moon. I mean, if you really want to get away from it all, go work on the moon. Uh, you've got the void space, which is probably going to be your least distracting space. So you get nothing around you. You can really just concentrate on these web browser windows. So, you know, I got to say, I'm all for it, guys. Uh, it is super, super cool. And this is something that I can really see expanding out and, and, and growing over time. So, all right. Let's go ahead and come out and talk about this a little bit. All right, there you have it. That was Fluid. And, you know, I got to tell you, I, I cannot thank the developers again enough for letting me know about this one because I can totally see myself using this a lot going forward. So if you want to learn more about it or grab a copy for yourself, and I highly recommend you do. I mean, it's free. What do you got to lose? Head to the link in my description. Go grab a copy from App Lab and get this installed on your Quest 2 or Quest 3 and check it out. I think you're going to like it. But for me, that is going to do it today. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video if you made it this far. And if this was your first time coming by the channel today, thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do here at VR Gamer, dude. And if you did like the video today, do me a solid. Go ahead and hit like and then maybe subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified the next time I do something cool in virtual reality. But for me, again, I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.